we launched a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, December 26th, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. To quote the legendary Mark Twain, the details of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. And as luck would have it, it looks like that's also the case for Kamal al Gargni right now. A few days ago, Kamal posted a series of videos on his Instagram where he addressed the rumors of his retirement. And he said that he had no plans to call it quits right now, and that he fully intends to be back on the Olympia stage in 23. I guess on the surface, the thought behind retiring might make sense considering his age. But on the flip side, he just had what was arguably the best season of his career. And he came within a few points of winning his second Olympia title which means that he's still got plenty left in the tank at this point in time. Kamal is hands down one of the all-time greats in the 212 division, and my guess would be that he still has a lot more chapters to add to his legacy before he rides off into the sunset. I don't know what it means to be fully churned, but whatever that is, it must be pretty good because Robert Timms is looking like a monster right now. A few days ago, his team released this update of his off-season progress, and from the way it looks, this fully churned version of his 2023 physique is going to be a handful to deal with. All things considered, even with the classic physique division being as deep as it is right now, if you can translate this from the gym to the stage, he's going to be right up there with the other guys in the division. And given how frequently we're seeing the pieces shuffle around the board at this point, there's no telling how things might look once he inserts himself back into the equation. Trends in sports are something that always fascinate me. In some sports, you see trends start from the ground level and work their way all the way up, sort of like what we've seen with the offensive innovations in football over the last decade or so. But then you have other sports where you have all of the trends being influenced from the top down, which is where it feels like we're at in bodybuilding right now, as we make a shift back towards bigger being better. And when it comes to bigger and better, we don't have many people to do it better on the amateur level than the, what we saw from Vincenzo Massone and the way he dominated the field at the Amateur Olympia where he won his pro card. He's one of the few guys from next year's rookie class who look like they're going to have pro level size from day one, which is a hard thing to do these days given the fact that Rami forced everyone to play the size game by going bigger and better. So if he can spend the next part of his offseason doing a little bit of fine tuning to give his body a more complete look from front to back, he's someone who might be able to come in and make an impact right out of the gates. When we look back on the 2022 season, I think there will be a lot of lessons to be learned. But one of the key takeaways we should all try to remember is that in this game, you can change your fortunes almost overnight just like we saw with Derek Lunsford and Samson Dowda taking their career to an entirely different level. And then with that in mind, it really does feel like the sky is the limit for someone like William Martins, who already has a ton of momentum working in his favor at this point. I think by anyone's metrics, William's second year was a success all the way across the board. And even though he might not have gotten the placings that he wanted at times, I think what we saw from him this year went a long way towards proving that he deserves to be considered one of the big names coming up in the open class. When the right pieces fall into place, you're never more than one show away from completely swinging the pendulum in the right direction. So if William can find a way to make that happen next season, we could easily be looking at him as a potential dark horse in the Olympia around this time of the year come next season. And that does it for yet another edition of Bustle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.